H. pylori can be a real big problem. I get all the time questions about this, about H. pylori, how can you cure it? I get it from my patients all the time coming in, having a concern, thinking that they have H. pylori. Just to let you know, there was a recent study that came out from the Center of Disease Control and Prevention that talked about that H. pylori that contributed to up to 80% of gastric ulcers and up to 90% of duodenal ulcers. That's pretty significant. If you deal with ulcers, that would be a concern. But the question is, what can you do alternatively to prevent this from happening? Because medications are not always the best option. And I know a lot of my patients deal with this issue and they continue to have ulcers coming up. So I'm going to talk about my four top big things that I usually recommend to prevent but also help with ulcers. So stay tuned right after this intro. Hey, what's up my health enthusiast? Dr. Legrand here. If you are new here and want to know more about alternative medicine, other fasting videos and health tips, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you will not miss on any of the future videos that we talk about on this channel. So going into talking about H. pylori, there's several things that you probably have read online talking about things that can help prevent I'm going to talk about from my personal experience of helping out different other patients and also talk about a little bit about some of the science and research that has shown to help with H. pylori with using these particular things that you can consume at your own home. Green tea is the first one. Green tea has so many benefits but it also can help prevent H. pylori and also it is great benefit for a lot of other aspects for our health of boosting our immune system, helping with the liver, helping with a lot of detoxification adding green tea on a daily basis can be very helpful. According to one study published by the International Journal of Antimicrobial Agents, it showed that green tea can be used to kill and slow down the growth of H. pylori. I recommend that you should consume the green tea before and during the process of the infection of H. pylori to help keep down the inflammation of the gut and also for health and benefit of a lot of other preventions. The second thing that you can do is consuming olive oil on a daily basis. Olive oil is a great aspect as an antimicrobial. Not only can it be great for soothing and bringing down inflammation in the gut, but it also has a lot of the health benefits of increasing things for the brain, also increasing your health fats in your diet. It has been confirmed uh, by scientists in a study down in 2012 that olive oil actually can benefit for H. pylori. So if you are dealing with H. pylori, definitely want to be consuming olive oil on a daily basis. The third great thing is broccoli sprouts. Now broccoli sprouts have a particular chemical in it called sulforaphan. And this particular chemical can help reduce inflammation. Not only, you know, broccoli sprouts are delicious, they can help prevent and also reverse H. pylori. What broccoli sprouts can give us is also really natural probiotics, help you know the good gut flora in our digestive system and keep things at a good balance in our digestive tract and the gut flora. The fourth thing that I recommend is fasting. If you are dealing with H. pylori, it is good to give your digestive system a break. And fasting is a great way because not only can it increase levels of autophagy to kind of start reversing and start healing the gut, it can also help with even preventing any other inflammation in your digestive tract or in your joints, anything other flare-ups that can be going on. So you can safely do this by you know doing intermittent fasting you know every other day or even every day kind of doing a 16-8 or even doing a little bit more extensive 24 to 36 hour fast to help give your digestive system a break so it can start healing itself. Some of the things I do recommend for other people who deal with H. pylori or think they might be dealing with H. pylori is really look at your overall digestive health. Things that can be beneficial if you have a hard time digesting your foods, things such as like HCL, hydrochloric acid, a pill that you can take over the counter that can help break down the foods. That's if you tend to be more alkaline versus acidic. If your stomach acid is more low than typical, that can help break down. Or even taking a digestive enzyme, a pancreatic enzyme, can help break down those foods because what's happening is there's lots of buildup when there is a lot of bacterial overgrowth. So you want to make sure your digestive system is moving frequently, especially if you're more constipated. Things looking at things such as magnesium can be helpful and also making sure that you know 
keeping your stress levels down, trying to de-stress, whatever those methods might be, that can help because that can also aggravate H. pylori and a lot of gastric ulcers. So I hope you found this beneficial. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, and then go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions about H. pylori. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also check out some of our other playlists that you can check out. Until next time, this is Dr. LeGrand signing out. Thanks. Bye.